Oh, praying mantis. Praying mantis, are you praying? Are you praying? Are you guys praying? Praying mantis is praying. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, praying mantis. You seem to be missing uh, part of your leg. You, you have an in injury, you praying mantis. This praying mantis is an injury. It's missing your leg. Still alive, still breathing. Nick Vujicic. No arms, no legs. Born with no arms and no legs. Tried to kill himself. I think eight or nine years old. And now he's preached in hundreds of countries to millions of people, uh, people and has met presidents and prime ministers and has a beautiful wife and two, at least two kids by now, Nick. Nick, calm it down, man. You slow it down. Two is enough. <laughs> you got no arms, no legs. Come on. <laughs> I'm joking. No, Nick would laugh at that. He would laugh at that. He would. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. How's, how's, I think about my prayer life. This praying mantis reminds me to pray. It's like nature. God sends a praying mantis. It's like, hey, hey. Look at this, a little praying mantis knows to pray for his food, or else he's dead. We should pray too, and thank God for all that we have too. And ask him for guidance, and even in temporal matters. And ask God for guidance, and wisdom, and understanding. He will lead us, he will guide us. You know, make that connection clear, clear out the cobwebs, and clean out the viruses in your um, computer memory hard drive in your brain. And download some prayers, and download the word of God in you. And it transforms you. The law is pro profitable. All scripture is profitable for instruction for all these things. It's like weight loss. Like, whoa, what, what does weight loss have to do with, uh, what does weight loss have to do with anything? When you read the Bible, it teaches about health. It teaches that the original diet was a plant-based diet. You know, or at least uh, if you eat the diet of the Jews, the Jews are very healthy for a reason. Jews, uh, they don't eat uh, certain things, and science today has confirmed that those things aren't as healthy as the other things that they eat. And so the things that they do eat, you know, they seem to make, make pretty healthy and good genes, long lineage of, uh, you know, Jew, Jew, uh, good Jewish genes. You know, like uh, Japanese people, they live forever too. And guess who else lives forever? Loma Linda, California. Loma Linda, California, Seventh-day Adventist, Loma Linda, California. Why do they live so long? Well, vegetarians, vegans, you know, rest once a week. Uh, hopefully, honor they, their father and mothers. I think they, they do, because that's the first commandment with promise. Honor thy father and mother, that they that they thy days may be long upon the land. Uh, let's see, what else? You know, exercise. Vitamin D, they wash their hands. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, uh, Seventh-day Adventists are in almost every, I'm sure every country by now. And um, every, every Adventist church you walk into, wherever you are in the whole world, you see at least one 100-year-old person in perfect health. And it is just, uh, the proof is in the pudding, you know what I mean? And uh, oh yeah, the Adventist health studies, decades of research, and you know, these people have been researched. and. Uh, it's incredible, it's incredible scientific findings that happened. You know, Dr. Kellogg was a Seventh-day Adventist. He made cornflakes, come on, he made cornflakes. His company, whoever, whatever, brother or something. Cornflakes. Dr. Kellogg, he was the Tesla of medicine. You guys ever watch uh, The Road to Wellville with Matthew Broderick? Yep, that movie, Hollywood movie, Hollywood movie, I'm kidding. <laughs> that movie was, look at all this grass, it's so beautiful. That movie. Uh, made fun of him. Look at this. Just, 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 just a week ago, two weeks ago, this was just dry, 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 dry ground. I did not think that this would ever come up. I really didn't. See, that shows goes to show my lack of understanding of basic things, but also shows what faith is like. That if our faith is like a mustard seed, all things are possible. Whatever that means. The mustard seed tree becomes one of the biggest trees, and then all. All the different birds and animals come under it. You know, protection and stuff. <coughs> anyway, I think that's enough for today. Um, bye bye. <laughs>